Okay, here's a quick run through on how to use the Pluralize software on Adobe Premiere. So I've got a new uh, project set up. I'll take my video and drag all of this down to video one and audio one. I will then take my audio tracks from the Zoom H2N and drop that into audio two. I will save the project, export this as a Final Cut Pro XML file. It says the project, this operation requires the project to be saved, okay, save it. And we'll just call it demo, <coughs> save to the desktop. I will close Premiere, minimize it. I will now upload or load the file. I just exported it into the Pluralize software. There it is. So I've got that loaded in and the sequence it's referencing is the demo sequence. What I like to do is I like to replace the audio. And for this I shouldn't shouldn't have to try too hard. So I've got replace audio and enable multiprocessing. Then I would just click sync and let it do its thing. Okay, so Pluralize is done syncing. Now what we want to do is import it. Go to my desktop. And demo synced. And go to the replaced sequence. And there we go. We now have my video with the audio replaced by the files from the Zoom H2N. So that's that's it. If you have any problems, what I've noticed is that if you try syncing it up and it doesn't work or it gives you an error, what I've tried sometimes and it works, if your audio levels are too low on your from your camera or too high, that could have an effect. So what I do is I either boost the audio signal or the gain within Premiere or reduce the audio signal or volume within Premiere and then try it again and usually that does the trick. So that's it. Thanks for watching. On the side here, you have the mic gain control. So during demos, when someone's talking, I'll usually put that around 9 or 10. And if someone's playing through an amp, we have got some louder sounds, I usually dial that back to around between 4 and 6 and get really good results. Yeah.